In this tutorial, we are going to find the function phi such that a grad phi of xy is equals to 2xy plus 6y squared multiplied by x squared i plus x squared plus 4y x cubed j. So we are given grad phi there, and uh, we know that uh, the gradient of uh, a scalar field phi is uh, denoted by grad phi is uh, the vector partial derivative of phi with respect to xi plus partial derivative of phi with respect to yj. So we have uh, those uh, two equations and I'll call that equation number one and the second one equation number two. So for these equations you can see that on the left there we are having grad phi on equation one and two. So we can compare those uh, two equations on the left, we are having grad phi, and on the right, we are having uh, two functions there. So what it means, uh, since the grad phi is on the left-hand side, what will be on the right-hand side should also be the same for the two equations. So if you look at equation number one there, where we have the i there, we are having 2xy plus 6y squared x squared. And on the second equation, we are having the partial derivative of phi with respect to x. And for those uh, parts to be equal, we should have the partial derivative of phi with respect to x is equals to 2xy plus 6y squared x squared. And then we'll go on and look at the second part there where we have the j. It should be equal to that part there of the j there, which is partial derivative of phi with respect to y. Therefore, we have a partial derivative of phi with respect to y is equals to x squared plus 4y x cubed. So we now have uh, those uh, two equations. And uh, to obtain phi, we have to integrate the first one there with respect to x so that we get the phi of xy. But when we are integrating with respect to x, we'll be treating y there as if it's a constant. So for our result, we'll get uh, the integral of uh, 2x there will give us uh, an x squared. So for the first part, we'll have x squared multiplied by y. And on the second part there, we'll be integrating x squared. The integral of uh, x squared is x cubed over 3. But the 3 then divides that 6 and uh, it will give us uh, a 2. So our result will be phi of xy is x squared y plus 2y squared x cubed plus uh, the constant of integration, which I have called uh, g1 of y there. I have written it as uh, g1 of y because we are saying it's a function of y because we are integrating with respect to x but treating y as if it's a constant. So that g1 of y can be a function of y or it can be a constant. So we now go on and then integrate that second equation with respect to y so that we get a phi. And when you are integrating the x squared there with respect to y, we are treating the x as if it's a constant. So x squared, the integral of x squared with respect to y, it will give us an x squared y. And the integral of 4y x cubed with respect to y, it will give us a 2y squared x cubed. So we have our phi of xy is x squared y plus 2y squared x cubed plus g2 of x. The g2 of x there is uh, the constant of integration that I'm adding. I am putting it as a g of x because I'm saying it's a function of x just because we were treating x as if it's a constant on our integration there. So that function there, it can be a function, it's a function of x or it can be a constant. So we have uh, those uh, two equations there and I'll go on and label them equation number three and equation number four. So let us now compare equation number three and equation number four. On the left hand side, we are having phi of xy on uh, equation three and four. So we are seeing those three equations, they are the same. 
since they are having five of xy, they're on the left. So that means their right hand sides again will be the same. But we look at uh, that part there, which is x squared y plus 2y squared x cubed. We see that is the same as that part there, x squared y plus 2y squared x cubed. So the only thing that is different from those two equations is that the part that we have the g1 of y and the g2 of x there. So for these two equations to be equal, we should have that g1 of y is equal to g2 of x. And those two functions are equal. And they can only be equal if they are all equal to a constant, and I'll call that constant c. So if uh, those uh, two functions are just equal to a constant, then we would have that equation 3 and 4 will be the same. So we can substitute the value of g1 or g2 into equation 3 or 4 so that we get our phi there. So if we substitute our g1 is equal to c, we get that our phi of xy is equal to x squared y plus 2y squared x cubed plus uh, the constant c. So that's uh, the phi of xy, which we are looking for, given that uh, grad phi of xy is equal to 2xy plus 6y squared x squared i plus x squared 4y x cubed j. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section.